Yo guys, welcome to my Trails of Cold Steel 2 uh, to go? classmates recruitment video. So we're gonna get Monica first. This one's pretty easy. It's a quest actually. So you just want to head to the proving ground and then go right, and then Monica will be in here chilling. And then next we're gonna go get Emily and Nicholas. So from here we just want to run through the door, and then we're gonna go through the gate here. There might be a cutscene or something, I've already done all that stuff. Let's ride. So you want to grab your motorcycle and then head to the right and then we're going to head to the zone. We'll just quickly boogie over here. So I'll show you guys the path to get to uh, Nicholas and stuff. It's pretty easy. So once you get to here, you just want to follow the path on the bike. There's just going to be like more like running around with this quest than there is like actually like killing or doing anything. But it's to help get all the classmates onto the ship. So just gonna keep following the thing around. I'm still like trying to figure out how this bike handles, so I'm probably gonna look like I'm drunk and running into stuff all the time. Maybe I am drunk, who knows. Anyway, we're just gonna keep going and then we're gonna hit the second screen. And then to get to Emily, you just wanna follow the path and then hit a right here. Right in there, I'll show you where it is on the map there. And then uh, you gotta talk to them. So they're gonna ask you to put in six like recorder thingies. I forget what they're called. Six uh, relay points. So here's the locations of all the relay points. You can also open up your map and it'll be where all the green exclamation marks Let's are. Get going. So I'm just gonna show you guys where to get them real quick. How this works. It'd probably be quicker to grab the right ones first, but this one's kind of right here. You kind of have to come back through here to go back to the first area again. So there's a relay device. So next we're going to go get the other two in this zone, and then there's going to be three in the other zone as well. So they're all on the path. Just kind of follow the path, look for the green uh, exclamation mark. So here's the second one. And then once you get that one, we'll head to the third one. Which is just a little farther down the road. Let's ride. We'll just keep on ripping her. It's nice that we have like a motorcycle to get around a little quicker now. Saves running everywhere. So once you get done this one, I'm gonna edit the video and cut the part out. But you want to run back to the first zone again, and then I'll show you the map on the locations where they are. So for this one, we just want to follow the path, and they'll be all on the path again. A pretty simple quest. It's, like I said, kind of boring, running around, whatever, but this might help you guys uh, get the rest Let's of ride. your uh, crew. So we're just going to follow the main path here. And then once you're done uh, with this one, just return back to Nicholas and Emily, and the quest will be complete, and they will be on your ship. So for Casper and Vivi, we're going to head to Legram, but we need to have Fee in the party as well, and we also have to buy Imperial Chronicles 4. So we're going to head to the store first, and we're going to pick up the Imperial thing from this guy. If you scroll up, it's a lot faster. I scrolled down, so I just did a small edit there. So might as well grab the Gambler Jack too, Imperial Chronicles, and then we're going to head to the church first. This is where you're going to need Fee in your party to recruit Vivi. So we'll head in here and then she'll be in the room on the right. Don't be like me and run up the stairs. And then talk to her and then uh, with Vivi, or as long as Fee is in your party, you will uh, recruit her. So Vivi is now aboard the airship. So after here, we're going to head to the training hall to talk to Casper. We're actually going to have to talk to him twice. So you're going to go through the door and then turn left and talk to Casper twice and then he will come to the ship as long as you have the Imperial Chronicles 4. So there we go. 
All right, for finding Mint, we want to go to the Nord Watchtower. And then we're going to have to talk to her. It's part of a main quest, so you're going to have to talk to her anyway. So she's going to ask us to find a watch that she lost, so we just pretty much have to run around and click on a whole bunch of red exclamation marks. So I click on that. There'll be two on the bottom floor and then one on each floor after. So I went to the right first and then to the left. It's a little faster. So this one will be by the vent. And then we're going to run up the stairs. And then across, it's not really a catwalk, kind of half catwalk, I'll call it. And then in the room to the right here, there was going to be another one. And then we're going to go up to the next floor. Good old watchtower. And then there's going to be another room that we're going to enter. Or no, this one's got the one on the top by the stairs. And then we got to go up another floor. And then this one's going to have a room that we got to enter. Right here. And then there's going to be like a small cutscene saying it must be on the roof or something. So now we're going to run to the roof. And then just keep running up the stairs. A lot of walking in these side quests. So we're just going to keep going here and should be another set of stairs. You can recharge your health if you want. And then once we get in here, we got to just keep running upstairs again. And then we're just going to talk with this thing in the corner and that'll be it. She'll be recruited. All right, for this part with Claire, you want to go to the Nord Highlands North and Nord. And then we're going to run to the quarry. I'm just going to skip part of this run because, you know, it's not fun to watch. So we'll just get to the end here. So when we get to the quarry, we want to run up here and then quickly turn left. And uh, what's her name's going to be there? Clara. Clara will be here. So we just want to talk to her and she wants us to go into the mine and stuff. There's a quick chest here. I'll quickly run by a couple of the chests. I'm not going to go to the one, but I'll tell you guys where it is. It's pretty easy to find just to make the video shorter. So we want to run into the quarry or quarry. I don't know why I say query, but it is what it is. So we're just going to run in here. There's going to be a bunch of fights. You want to make sure your CP is full for the uh, boss coming up. Just makes it easier. It's not that hard. So up here, you're going to get to, uh, I don't know if you call it a fork or a wire or whatever, but to get a chest, you want to go to the left. There's also a battle chest thingy there that you need four characters for. So one, this is going to the right now, so there's going to be a battle chest thingy here. Just use a S break on them and they should all pretty much be dead. Just keep running up here. There's going to be another chest to the right. And then the boss is going to be to the left. This boss is pretty easy. If you have poison resist gear, it will help, but it's not really needed, I guess. But if you guys remember from the first game, there's like a spider boss here that spawns a bunch of ads. Well, it's pretty much the same thing. So I was just using S breaks to kind of help clear up the ads here. I'll do a little bit of commentary just so you guys know what I was doing. So I did motivate to make my guys do more damage. And then uh, I started hitting my S breaks. Uh, so I kind of targeted the right side on this one. And I was thought that he was like really uh, susceptible to status elements like blind and stuff. So I tried putting blind on him with... Uh, I can't remember this guy's name, but this guy, the Nord guy, and uh, apparently he was resistant to it, so I was like, alright, whatever. So uh, my strategies had to change, so I put a uh, resounding beat on people as it's good for regen and stuff with Elliot, and now we are going to just pick away at him pretty much to get my uh, S breaks filled up again. I did do a overdrive as well. So I did use a Calamity thing with uh, Gius, I think his name is, just to get rid of the rest of the ads. But he's going to keep spawning ads throughout the fight. So it's just good to have him under control. Like, you only need a couple. A couple's fine. If you get, like, a lot, though, obviously you can get overwhelmed. So uh, here comes some of the ads. They don't hit super hard, but hard enough so I mainly just focused on the boss though and then focused with like AoE attacks and then here I believe I did an overdrive so uh, 
it's just allows a crit each time and then you can get like double attacks on. I found out using the uh, burst attack actually hits everything on the screen, so it's good to know. I honestly didn't know that, so yeah. So we just uh, keep doing that, doing the double hits or whatever. It's good for filling up your CP as well. As you can see, Rain's pretty full now. So here I'm just going to do another S-Break rotation. I usually save Elliot's because I like to save his CP for healing and stuff. But uh, yeah, so he's almost dead. But that's pretty much it for the fight. I'll leave you guys with the rest of the fight, and then once the fight's over, then you will have Clara come to your ship. You can recruit Becky on December 18th when you get to Celtic Village. All you have to do is run into the West House. And she'll be just here chilling. There's nothing special with her. She's just going to talk to you and be like, yep, I'll come on the boat with you and her ship or whatever. And we're good to go. So that's how you get Becky. All right, so we're going to go get Monk now. We have to go to the Proving Ground. So be right here. So he's going to be like chilling and eating by a table. So we just want to go right. And you'll see the little quest thingy above his head. He's going to ask you to find a sticker. So we're going to go get the sticker to help him search. So we're going to go back to the ship. And then we're going to head to the uh, Twins Bridge or whatever. And then we're just going to run straight up into this tunnel. And then we're going to go to the left here and go into the, I think it's called the conference room. So right in here. And then you want to talk to Elliot's old man. And then he'll have the sticker. And then you just got to return it to uh, the guy, Monk. And he will join your ship. So we'll just head back and do it right now. And then we'll be done. Just quickly run around here. Turn right. He's in the exact same spot. And there we go. That is Monk recruited to your ship. Alright, so here's the guide to get Paula. So here we want to organize party and make sure we have Eusis in the party. We need Eusis for this quest to be completed. And then we're going to go to Keldic or Seldic. So once we go here, we want to go to the East Highway. Hop on your motorcycle, and then we're just going to go to the farm. So the farm's just up here and to the left. And Paula is going to be chilling here with the horses. And she's just going to say she one of the horses ran away, so we got to go get it. She gives us clues where it is. So we'll search for him. So we want to get back on our bike and head back to town. Let's ride. And hit left here, and then we'll be back in town. Then we want to go to the West Highway, because she said the horse ran kind of in that direction. So here's where you will need Yusus in your party. So we're just going to go up here and stick to the right. And you should see a little marker by these trees, and you'll probably see the horse standing there. So you want to just go through the little cutscene thing with the horse and Yusus. Horse is going to run away, so we got to chase it. So we'll get back on our bike and keep going. So we want to head to the entrance of the park. So right up here and the horse will be chilling. And then he's going to run away into the park again. So here we can't use our motorcycle so we got to run. So we want to go to the second area at, in the park. Let's Watch stop. out for that guy. He'll probably attack you. It's not too far of a run up here. So we want to go to the next screen which is just around here. Careful of that guy. And once you get here, you just want to kind of go across the bridge and turn left. And the horse will be there. And then you'll automatically go back to Paula and recruit her for the ship. Yeah. 
All right, so this will be for Alan and Loggins. So we want to go to Cedric again. And then we want to go to the West Highway. And then hop on our bike and then keep going west. Try to avoid that snail. We uh, got in a fight with him the first time when I was doing this quest just to make the video a little bit more smoother. So you want to go to the left here and they'll be here chilling and then we just got to go to three vantage spots. It's a really simple one here. Not a whole lot to do. So we'll help them out. Let's and get ride. back on the bike. And now we just want to go up on that little hill to do some spying. So it'd be two nodes on the hill and then one up the road a little bit. So right here's the hill. So you got the first green marker. Just quickly go through there, then go up to the next one. Do some fishing if you want. So there'll be two on the hill and then one down below. Let's so I'll show you where the one is down below and then you'll automatically go back to Loggins and Alan and you'll have them on the ship. All right, for Fidelio and Dorothy, we're gonna need uh, Emma in the party for this one to recruit them. So right there. And then we're going to confirm it. Now we want to go to Cedric Village. Cedric. And then we want to go to the East uh, Highway. And then we're going to get on our motorcycle. Let's ride. And then we're going to go to the second area. So we go past the windmill, then hit it right. And then once we get to the second area, we want to go to the north part, on the third area. I think that's what it's called, like North Cedric Highway 3 or something. So once we get here, then uh, we're going to see the uh, little quest thingy to the left up here. So we're just going to cut through here, try to avoid this monster. And then turn left here and then you'll see the one student here so you want to talk to him and he's worried about Dorothy so we got to go find Dorothy so agree to help him and then jump back on the bike and then we want to go to uh, I believe it's east the East Highway 3 so we got to run back here thank God we got like the motorcycles and stuff or this would take forever so we want to go to East Cedric Highway 3. So you just got to hit a right. And then once we get in here, we can find Dorothy. You can open up the map to find out where she is, but it's pretty easy to find. It's pretty much the first left, maybe the second one. I think that's the first one. So go past that one. And then right when you get up here, just go left. Just trying to avoid the uh, monsters. So up here, you're just going to have a small fight. Uh, just use a couple S breaks for the fight. I'll leave it in the video. And then once the fight's over, you'll go back to uh, Fidelio or whatever his name is. And you will have them both recruited. Alrighty, this uh, one's for Hugo. So we want to go to Roar, and then we're going to hit the uh, Roar store, the uh, yeah, the RS store. And then Hugo is going to be chilling here. He's going to need us to go around and sign some contracts for some people. So we have to go to a couple other cities to do that. So the first city we want to go to is Legram. We'll just quickly get back on the ship here, Where do you want to go? which is down at the bottom here. So we're going to head there, and then we are going to go to the general store. So go to the store, talk to this guy here. He's going to sign the contract. 
So next we have to go to uh, Ymir. So we have to go back to the ship. And then go to Ymir. To go? Just at the top. And then we want to go to the general store here. And then talk to the guy on the right. And then he's going to sign the contract as well. And then you just want to head back to Aurora and talk to Hugo and... The quest will be complete. If you guys found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. It'll help the channel out a lot. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a great day. All right, the next student we're going to get is Stefan. Uh, you want to make sure Machias is in your party for this one. And then we are going to head to Roar or rear or however you pronounce it I'm just gonna call it roar and then we want to go to the upper level and then we're just gonna go to the right of the stairs and around the corner into this building right here and then we're gonna talk to the guy chilling by the elevator here he's gonna tell us that one of the students is wandered out on his own and we got to go save him so once you're done talking to him we want to go to the Nordia highway Let's hop on the bike here and just go to the second area just a little ways up here so once we get here then we're just gonna get like halfway into this zone and then we want to hang a right so right here this little side path you squeeze in there and then you want to go stick to the left here and then there's going to be a cutscene here with a small fight um, you can use the S break like I did and then do a few normal attacks or you can just do two S breaks. Uh, they will probably both have the same outcome. And uh, once you're done this fight, then uh, just follow the story and you'll recruit them onto the ship. Alright, so now we are going to go get Kenneth back. This one's going to be a little bit of running, but uh, we're just going to head to Roar again. And then we are going to head to Nordia Highway. And then we want to go to the third area. So once we get to the third area, we're just going to go for a little bit of a stroll here. So we're just going to hug the right here. And then we are going to take the first path to the left once we can. So right here, the fork in the road, we're going to go left. And then we just want to go all the way to the end, and Kenneth will be at the end. So for this quest, he's going to say that a fish swallowed a prized possession of his, and then all we got to do is catch the fish. Once we catch the fish, which is at the fishing spot right here, uh, it'll be complete, and there'll be a little story scene, and Kenneth will join the airship, I'll call it. I forget what it's called, but airship. All right, to recruit Margarita, I'll just call it, uh, you're gonna need Millennium in your party. And then once you go to have her in your party, just go to the Schwarz Darsh Barrier. Hopefully I said that right. This one's a really, really easy one. And then once you go here, you wanna go into the lounge area or whatever it's called. And then you just have to talk to her and that's it. She'll be recruited to the ship. Alrighty, for this part of the guide, we're going to go get Burl, so we want to head to Ymir. So we want to head to Ymir Valley. You can't teleport there because it won't trigger the event, so you have to run there. Uh, so you're going to have a small little cutscene here with Burl walking away, just doing Burl stuff with her weird personality, I'll call it. So once the cutscene's over, we're going to go to the next area, and then you just want to get your bike or your horse out. And then we are going to keep going here. So we're just going to go to the, like the third area, but there's going to be a small cutscene in the middle of it as well. So first we're going to go to the second area, just go across the bridge here. The bike's a little wonky in this zone. So we're just going to head up here, head to the next area. So there's going to be a small cutscene in this area as well. So we're just going to keep going. You can't miss it. It's like on the way to the third area, like right when you get to this bridge. 
So we're just going to turn here. And once you get the bridge, it's going to be a small cutscene. So there we go. And then once the small cutscene's over, you want to get back on your bike again. And then we're going to go to the end. So we're just going to keep going up here. It's a little bit of a snake path or whatever. I'm just trying not to get in a fight here. And then just turn here. Go into the next area and you'll see Burl at the end. You just talk to her and you recruit her onto your ship. So for this we want to go to uh, Isengard range and this is going to start a quest so we'll just quickly go through the story stuff save time for the video. This video will also show you how to get Klein and Hebeli or Hebel or I don't know how to pronounce that name it's a weird one. So for the Jaeger fights I pretty much just had Emma nuke them all. Pretty much the best way to do it. Phantom Phobia. Once her attack went off, it pretty much just killed him. Um, you want to focus on getting your uh, S-Breaks filled up as well, because the last fight is, can be kind of rough without him. So that's pretty much what I did there. So once you're done the fight, it's going to be a little bit of the story, and then we just want to go up the stairs here. There's a treasure in the corner if you forgot to get it earlier in the game. So next we have the next fight, so I'm just going to use Motivate with Rain to get Fee up there. She's like my evasion tank right now. And then I mainly just tried to get their HP down a little bit so uh, Emma can kill them. So I think they're just a little bit more than what the damage she can use, so you just do the AoE thing. They're going to do a little bit of damage to you, but that's fine. As long as you use Elliot's resounding beat, it should be fine. So once they're all done attacking, and nuke them with Emma, and that fight's done. So once that fight's done, we want to run down to the end of the hallway here and go into this room on the left. We're going to kill one Jaeger. I use this one to fill up more CP stuff instead of just focusing on nuking. This Jaeger is going to drop you a key to open the door so we can get to the next area. So we'll just slowly pick away at him here. It's a pretty easy fight. This is the easiest one in here for sure. Alright, so once he's down, we can get the key for the door. And then if we go left here, we can see a little cutscene here through the door. So you can quickly just watch what's going on there. And then when you're done, we just want to go around to the beginning part, and there will be a door here to the left. And then on the top of these stairs will be another fight. So we'll just rock right through the door here, and then there's going to be a fight. So this one I just nuked them all with Emma again, so I use Motivate with Reen, just so I can kind of lower their HP a little bit with Fee. I use Resounding Beat, I think, with uh, Elliot just to keep the defenses up. Oh, I tried something else. I tried to put Nightmare on him, but I don't think it worked. I just figured, why not? Not really much else to do with him. So they're just going to do a couple attacks, and I'm going to get Phantom Phobia up with... Uh, Emma again, and then just gotta wait for her to be able to cast it. Got Fee there, and then they're just gonna try to attack me a little bit. And then once the nuke goes off, the fight is now complete. Nice and easy. So for the next part, we're gonna want our S breaks, and you're also gonna want to heal up just before we go up the door here. So once we turn around, and then we get the next access key for this door here, you want to heal up. And then once you heal up, we'll head up here. You're going to have a fight that you're surrounded, so I would recommend using S-Breaks. There'll be three guys on one side and two guys on the other. So I had Yusus in here, so I had to uh, use his, and then I just used Reens on the other side. Just make sure you hit all three. And then once you've done this, there's going to be a little bit of a story and the quest to be complete. Alright, we're going to go get the students from Bearhead. Uh, you're going to need Alyssa in your party for one of the students. So grab her and then we'll head to, to Barahead. Hopefully I said that right. So first we're going to go to the Noble District and we just want to run to the house straight up. This one's a really easy one. And then we're going to go to the left. And then you just want to talk to the girl here and just agree to bring someone here. And then you get Bridget to your party. Or to the ship. 
So the next part we want to go to Central Plaza and then we want to go to the restaurant to the second floor. So run up the stairs here and then we're going to talk to the guy here and he will say something about his daughter storming off. So now we want to go to Station Street and then we're going to go to the waterway entrance. I think that's what it's called. So let's go down the stairs here. And then we're going to talk to the girl here, bring a friend, call Emily, and then we'll have her onto the uh, Courageous as well. And for the last part, we want to head to the Artisan District. And then we are going to go into the jewelry store and then talk to the girl here. And if you remember from the first game where we had to get that tier from the tree, well, we got to get four of them here. So we're going to head to uh, South Carousin Highway. And then hop on the motorcycle. Right. And then if you open up your map, it'll show you the locations. But I'll drive to them anyway just to show you guys. So the first one will be on the second right. And there'll be like a tree here. You just got to click on it. And then once you get that one, we want to keep going forward. And then we're going to cross the Let's road. Try. Into the little pathway here. And then kind of go around it. And then it will be the tree on the left here. And for the third one, it would be just off the main road to the left a little bit. So right here. And then the fourth one is going to kind of be like at the end of a path. So we're just going to keep going up here and I believe it's the next right. So right here. And then we want to hit it right here. And then the tree will be down here. So once you get the four things, we just have to run back to town and take it to the girl that we're trying to recruit. Who is it? Colette, I think. Let's get going. So we'll head back to town, go back to the artisan district, or street, go into the jewelry store, and then there'll be a bit of a cutscene to play here, and then you'll recruit her to the Courageous. Alright, so for the part of the video to get Rex, we want to go to Arco's Fort. This one's a really easy one, and then we pretty much just have to run up and talk to him, and then call one of the classmates from the ship to convince him to not do what he's going to do, and he'll be welcome aboard the ship. Yo guys, welcome to my Trails of Cold Steel 2 quest guide, Hearts in Harmony. So for this quest, you're going to need Elliot in your party, and we want to head to Cedric Village. Leave it to me. And then we're going to go to the chapel and talk to the the sister, I'll call her. So it's the door on the right here. And she's going to want to put on a performance musically, so we have to go find a bunch of musicians. So first things first, we got to head back to the ship, and then we're going to head to Roar. to get our first person. Leave it to me. So once we get to Roar, we want to go to the upper level. And then we're just going to go to the left here and down the path and then to the house on the left. I believe this is the one instructor, so you just have to talk to her and then you're good. Next, you have to go back to the ship again. And then we're going to hit up the one fort, I think it is. Or proving ground. Yeah, proving ground. There we go. So we'll head here, and then we're going to go right into the store. And Fiona is going to be chilling in here. So we're going to talk to her and ask her to play some piano for us. And then there's going to be a small cutscene, and then we got to go back to the ship again. And next we have to head to, uh, I forget what the city, like Bedard or something. And then talk to the violinist that's chilling, playing some music, and then we're going to head back to the ship again. Now, this quest also has two bonus AP, so we have to talk to two people on the ship. So we're going to go talk to the first person here. So sec go to the second floor, into the store to the left here, and talk to Bridget. And then we are going to go to the fourth floor, I believe. And then we're going to run to the end of the hall with the training thing. I had a cutscene here, but... And then you want to talk to this guy. Habel or Habil or whatever his name is. So that's going to give you two bonus AP. 
And then you just want to head back to Cedric Village and the quest will be complete. You just have to go talk to the sister, enjoy the nice lovely cutscene, and that's about it.